That ain't good. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Good to see you Cheers. guys. Cheers. Glad to be back at it. Yeah. Felt like we were just doing something yeah. similar to this. Not me. No. It's yeah. nice to be back. Back to back tournament weekends. We're here. Thank you to Aldi and the lovely wife for hosting us. A little short today on the crew as far as the numbers. We're missing a couple of members, but life happens. They've got stuff to do. They can't fish tournaments all the time. And it's back to back to weekends. Last weekend was Par D. Tough, tough fishing, but got a shout out and congrats to Bam. Thank took you. Took the W there. Only guy with a limit both days. I got to give a big shout out to the ultimate choke wizard coach. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Hero to zero. Is that what uh, I went hero to zero? Mm -hmm. All I had to do was catch five fish. And I Did you say one. the lake dropped like two feet? It looked like it to me. Yeah, That's where, I was, it, yeah. where I was at, I would, it was I definitely guess, there was yeah. a rock sticking out of the water that wasn't sticking. I was like, this is different. Yeah, was, yeah. I mean, it was tough. So I mean, even though you didn't back it up the second day, it was. I should have. I should have made the adjustment earlier and left. I mean, like I caught home? the fish. No, I'm went to a different. That's something spot. Mike would say, by the way. I'm trying to be Mike. Yeah, somebody's got to feel like. Someone's got to laugh about it. <laughs> 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 oh, also shout out to Terrence for second place. He's not here. He's on yeah. a terror this oh, thank year. God Terrence didn't come. Terrence Dude, the terror yeah, this we're year. We're scared of Terrence. Yeah, leave us alone, Terrence. The first and off, second man. in Gambler Series so far for the first year. He's crushing. Yeah. But, no, this weekend is Yakabass, the normal series. Folsom Lake. Eh, interesting history here. And someone uh, AOY for Yakabass last year is leading AOY right now. Am I? Yeah. Oh. It is what it is. Uh, sorry. To do this. Can I put this on pause? The door dash is about to come up. My dogs are going to go crazy. Yep. I think as much as I like use the GoPros to film, like I'd have like an actual amount. Yeah, a little hot, a little tripod. Well, always make something work, you know. Just like there's always things laying around. Here, I'll show you guys. This is like we could uh, select something better than a box. So. That's what we're looking at right now. Here. This is our perspective. Yeah, Bam, find something better. Yeah. Hey, did you burp again? Yeah. Gee. It was just like the burp last time at party. Like sausage and bologna. Oh no. Today for lunch was some jerky and peanuts. Well, jerky. You can just put something in the box, it'll weight it down. Like a shoe. Oh my god. <laughs> And while we're waiting for all these, getting the DoorDash, gonna play some poker tonight. Heard Bam's really good. No, I'm just trying to intimidate you. No, oh, you said you play online poker. Hmm, he's already bluffing. Well, the last poker <laughs> winner, which did not make the video cut, Santa, Terrence, smoked a Saturday night last night at party, crushed us. Freaking T-Dog, man, it's his time. All right, he's back. All right, uh, where were we? Folsom, Yakabass, event number two? Event number two. I don't know, Folsom's one of those lakes. We've talked about this in the past. It's usually tough. Gonna be rainy, cold, windy. I heard maybe some thunder and lightning later. I don't know how that's gonna affect the fish. I would assume it would help the bite. I think it's gonna turn on. Yeah, it's been 70s all week leading up to it. Water temp, 54 to 56. So I think they're on the verge. I've seen a lot of people posting fish picks. Wind, cloud cover and everything. I think they'll be chasing. I mean, two inch kite tech, small yeah, as ball head. I'm enough. just gonna drag something on the bottom and see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> you know, that, that Folsom sucks. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm excited to fish it again because I have had some stellar days there, but it sucks. And I kind of suck there. So we'll see. I'm just gonna drag a jig around in a net rig and see what happens. Well, it's worked for you in the past, so that's not a terrible plan. The best thing I can hope for is that the bite is awful. Yeah, you tend yeah. to do well in the tough tournaments. I like it tough. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you know, Left. I don't know. I, I think... <laughs> And sloppy toppies. <laughs> Bam's the new Mike. Sorry. Mike, to... you've been replaced. No, I agree with Aldi. I think it's going to be a good bite. I'm open for a good bite tomorrow at Folsom. Uh, just hope the weather isn't crazy. Dutch, your thoughts? Yeah, what do you think? I've had good success here. I think I've fished here three times in three tournaments. I've done good here in the past because it, I think it kind of just suits the way that I fish. I fish a lot like Bam. Just sit there and drag stuff real slow on the bottom. The just thing is, that always plays so. at Folsom. Yeah. Even if there's like a crazy bite going on at Folsom, slow dragging always plays the role here. In fun fact, well, it's not that fun, but none of us pre-fished today for yeah. the first time. It's kind of like a gambler series for Yakabass. I, I mean, love Folsom. Yeah, I mean, I know you love Folsom, but it's, it is tough. And just for reference, last year we had a tournament here. Same time of year, I think we had about 120 kayak anglers, and I think there was six limits. It can obviously get it really It was a very tough. different condition. Tomorrow, over 120 anglers, longest five fish. Coach? Longest? Well, it's not going to be like last year. I think it's going to be close to 90. I'd say like 88. Yeah, I think I'd agree. I'm going to say 93 and a half. 
half. Ooh, close to what I was going to guess. Yeah. Bammer? I think I can only put up like 83 <laughs> or 84 inches here, so that's probably what's going to win. Uh, oh, God. I'm, oh, I, boy. I, you said I had to be Mike. I'm trying, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah. trying to be Mike here, you yeah. know? Mm. I'm winning. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. about 92. 92? Yeah, I think about 92. All right, guys. Well, uh, I guess we're going to play some poker, eat some DoorDash. Then tomorrow morning, we're going to make our way to Alberto's. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast for you to roast tomorrow. Oh, no. You're going to be pooping. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be chumming. We're going to be chumming in them fish. Uh, shorter crew this weekend. One day tournament. Kind of a little different style, but best of luck, fellas. Best of luck. Good luck. luck. Cheers. 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 Alrighty, folks, about eight o'clock. Made a pretty good run up north. That's where I fished uh, last year. Had some pretty good success. Obviously, different time of year, but you know, I figured with a uh, hundred and what twenty-six anglers, trying to get away from the field a little bit, and uh, come on up here, fish a little history. So we launched at seven o'clock. We can start fishing at seven thirty. So I lost a little bit of fishing time. That's okay. We got eight hours of fishing today on Lake Folsom. Last cast, 3.30. Got to be back at the ramp. Checked out. Photos submitted. Four o'clock. Let's see what we can do today. Water temp's 58, almost 59. Conditions are actually not really that bad right now. Knock on wood. Definitely looking for five. Looking for a hint, a bite, a pattern, and then some luck. Definitely need some luck today. Whoever does well or takes this or puts themselves in contention is going to need luck with some bigger bites. Some of these fish are on beds. Dude, what the heck? It felt like something was messing with it. Sure. Okay. Not a giant, but get it started. All right. Number one, maybe the long run paid off. I knew I had a couple of bites up shallow. Hard to beat a jig when these spots are on beds. Just kind of tumbles through them and you drag it through them and they get so defensive they, they gotta eat it. There's another bite right there. Got the trailer. guys doing? Sounds like your garden. Feels like your garden. Oh, how many jigs am I going to lose today?
taking off like a son of a gun today. shallow in the rocks it seems like they're not eating it good it feels like a defensive bite you know just nipping at it trying to get it off their bed or something he had it the whole time Dude, you have to be on beds right you have to be Little keeper, I'll take them, but man, they gotta get bigger. I think I kind of know what to do now to at least get a bite. You gotta be dragging through the rocks in less than 10 foot. It's definitely a way to get bit. The question will be, is it a way to get a big bite though? Or are these all gonna be small males? Still haven't confirmed, but I would say they're on beds. That bite right there, it's like, you know, he just picked it up off the bed and just moved it. It was moving the bait. Fish definitely need to get bigger though. I do think it's gonna take 90 today to win. The field this big, someone's gonna find a group of 17, 18 inch fish for sure. Some of this stuff just seems like it'd be perfect to dredge a crankbait, you know? Just sometimes when they're on beds, you know, if you throw something moving, they, they don't pay any attention to it. It's not threatening to them. It goes right by them. It's those jigs and worms and stuff that you, you bottom bounce and you get in their territory, their strike zone, and they just can't handle it. It would be nice to find some secondary pattern, though, which is better quality. I plan on throwing spinnerbait quite a bit, but the water is pretty dang clear. This doesn't feel like a spinnerbait kind of day, unless that wind starts to really pick up. Looks like a bed area. I'm seeing beds now. Just... Yeah, these are definitely fish on bed. Small fish though. See the white circles around me. I don't know what the odds are of actually getting a big bite doing this are. Hmm. Jig is like a little nest raider. Just number four at least. I mean on a positive note, their bites, you know, this is wholesome as we mentioned. It can be extremely stingy. So at least their bites. It's a little like rock outcroppings off of points definitely a high percentage area for there to be a fish and some of these more flat areas with some rock mixed in it's got to be a little rock mixed in the other areas that look like they're setting up to bed oh man i thought that one was way bigger gotta get like a 17 18 inch to get the confidence up a little bit doing this
25. Yeah, I mean, we're getting bit. That's fun. Can't really complain. Better this than nothing at all. There's the limit, so. So cool. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. going this could be a numbers thing too just go out and try to catch as many as you can just hopefully at the end your best five are, are decent oh moved over to another area where i think there should be some some fish let's do it let's do what we do sometimes look at the standings gauge how the bite is i guarantee it's on though oh yeah people are already posting limits yeah. yeah 14 16 17 inch fish there's some 17s that's good yeah people are catching them today yeah it's gonna be about hitting those 17 plus inch bites for sure stay on oh cranky take your time man take your time come here stay on buddy i need you something bad it's a difference maker right here Huge confidence booster. Gosh, that's, that's one of the right ones right there. It's one of the right ones. Way up shallow. Were you on a bed, dude? I don't care what he was doing, as long as he bit. Yeah, that's a, as they say, a game changer right there. It's gonna make a difference. That was a gift. That was a gift. All right, all right. Now the hope and prayer is that that wasn't just a random fish. That we can replicate that somehow. I get around like these big boulders, these rocks, and usually get bit. Thought maybe we had a little crankbait deal going on, but that was the only bite on it. I have to go back and maybe fish through some more areas and see if we can get some bigger spotted bass. I don't know. This is a tough call. Almost 12 o'clock. Still got a pretty uh, weak limit in the grand scheme of things. Feels good. Yeah, I'm gonna just boat flip these dudes. Yeah, definitely in the bed. Yeah, we got a little call. I'll take it. I mean, there could be, you know, 17 incher somewhere. Just gotta get lucky and put the jig on it. Man, if you didn't know any better, you'd say Folsom's not a half bad lake. Chill out for me, buddy. Close your mouth. Thank you. 
think maybe we just gotta keep finding these big rock boulders. Throwing the jig over them. Catching this many largemouth. Oh my god. What the heck do I have? I thought that was a giant fish for a second. It was swimming off. Definitely an interesting weather day. We got bigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Not huge, but it's a call. Just fishing the areas that I think they're on beds. Right. Take a team, I think. Maybe. All right. Sweet. Take them. Of now 1375 and a 1475. Seems doable. Oh, that could be. Mm. Oh, probably shouldn't have flipped you, yeah. but I did. The problem with large mouth is they're not very long. I mean, I'll take you. Just not a long spotted bass. Yeah, short and stout. Well, let's take the call. Alright, what do we gotta get rid of now? 14 and change. Something like that. Yeah, that one that one felt real big on that initial hook set. The rod bendage was serious. Well, I can say this with confidence. This is definitely the best bite I've ever experienced on Folsom Lake. Usually super tough. Get couple of bites in a whole day this is definitely not the case they're biting today it's just because we came at the right time these fish are all shallow on beds no i've yet to actually see one on a bed haven't really looked though 99 percent sure most of these fish that we're catching are on beds the uh, bad tournament execution continue it wasn't a giant but I looked to be I don't even know Ugh. shake it off shake it off what am I doing man I am I am getting really sloppy. Didn't catch up to the fish there. What is going on? I hardly lose jig fish, and I'm all of a sudden, like this year, I'm losing way more than I've ever lost. I don't know if it's just like my mechanics or what. I 
I'm going to boat flip this one, but I'm going to. I want to grab the net. Just don't want to lose that tension. All right, I'll get rid of that 14. Seems like a bigger fisher. good. Perfect thunder and lightning right here. Holy crap. Not a fan of that. Just get away from the kayak with a bunch of graphite rods sticking up. Whew. I hate thunder and lightning. When I'm in the middle of the lake or on the water with rods sticking up, you're the only thing out there. Sure, I have some kind of charge. I almost got hit by lightning one time. True story. On the Delta. Luckily, I got out because it was just so sketchy. Got onto someone's porch instead of continuing on and fishing in the tournament. And then, like, I don't know, five minutes later on the porch, where I would have been, lightning hit the water. Crazy. And I'm sure it would have had a good chance of, you know, hitting me. I don't know what was up with that random thunder and lightning crash right there. Not really seeing other parts of the sky lighting up. Well, while we're here, let's check the standings. It's uh, 150. Got about an hour and 40 minutes left to fish. I've submitted my photos, actually. I didn't uh, wait till the last minute. Sitting in seventh with 79.50. Leading is 89 inches. Oh boy, there are some bags. It's not weather right now. Okay, yeah, that's what just passed us right there. That's exactly what just happened. Yeah, we just had a little situation come through right there. I think it's passing us at least. Alright. Back out there? I think it's moved over. Yeah, these like little bays right here. Some of them, I don't know about this one. I haven't had any success. Didn't really fish it much the first time around. I've kind of circled around this entire section of the lake, but certain coves just have these spots loaded up. And some largemouth. It's got to be kind of like, obviously flatter ground, like more tapered. Then there's got to be like these mixtures of rock in here. And I don't actually know if there's enough rock on this bank. The one bank there loaded had a lot more rock. Not a ton of rock, but just enough. Yeah, definitely a wuss when it comes to thunder and lightning, but I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> Fifteen two five now. I don't think this is gonna do it. Negative. We got the Folsom Slam, spot largey and smally. And that one I could feel plain with it. Ate one of the claws. I have smallmouth on bed over here. Don't mind if I do.
Oh my god, no. That was a giant largemouth right there. Oh no, we had it. Oh my god. It's just about to leave. Turn around. Happened again. I pray that that fish is on a bed because then I can catch it. It's another big largemouth. Come on, man. Why can I not catch a break? Oh my god, I see it, dude. 20 incher. No wind, stay down. Wind, do you stay down? Wind, just give me like 10 minutes, please. I still can't find that fish. Unbelievable. Why? There is. Where is your bed? That's a big fish, man. That's a big one. Dude, it's a giant. That's a huge fish. Where's the bed, though? I don't even know if that fish is on a bed. I think it was just cruising around. Guys, I cannot believe I screwed that up. I think I just lost big fish of the tournament right there. That is so incredibly disappointing. <laughs> I see it, too. It is just cruising around. Are you kidding me, man? Why? Yeah, it's not even on a bed. He's just cruising around. Oh my god. Now I can't catch it. It's just, I don't even know what to say right now, guys. It's just, I'm not ah, such. Let's move on. 45 more minutes. Actually, 15. You know what? I'm like out of time. Dude, it's gonna take me like an hour, hour 15 or so to get back. Oh my God. Wow. Disgraceful, man. Absolutely disgraceful. Three oh seven. Do you wanna start heading back or what are you thinking? Yeah, I told myself last year. Did you end up breaking 80? Nope. I lost another one. Dude, that's so sloppy. I don't even get it. Same here. I left about seven or eight inches on the tip today. Losing two fish. Make one more stop just in case. 328. Always last cast, right? Oh god. Oh my god, I actually called. <laughs> Never give up, right? 328. I gotta get a photo of this dude quick. It's not gonna help much, but it's gonna help a little. Oh my god. How oh, stupid. Oh no, phone tether fell off. Oh my god, it won't press. Oh my god. Well, a little bonus right at the end. On my way back to the ramp saw a point. Made a cast. Culled up a little bit. <sighs> Silly. Silliness. and then all of a sudden you turned and like went the other way. Well, that was one of the very few high moments I had today. But gentlemen, it is over. Balsam Lake, we survived the weird weather. Oh, that was uh, great. Bite. Actually, it was pretty good today, right? Yeah, there were, I mean, I can't say this for sure, but I think like 70 or 80 limits. 
Wow. There, yeah. there was a lot of fish coming. Folsom Lake, the lake that we said last year, 120 plus people and only uh, six limits, totally different. So there are fish that exist in this lake. Start with uh, Bammer, how'd you do, man? Uh, I did all right. I didn't catch a fish until 10. Found a school of fish on a rock pile and sat there the rest of the day. Caught like eight or nine fish, some solid ones. Best finish, best day I've ever had at Folsom. Solid showing. Coach, redemption this time? Uh, no, I caught a lot of fish. I just couldn't catch the big ones. One big one I did catch, I messed up and had a premature release. <laughs> <laughs> would have been a, probably would have been a, I don't know, always a six call. But yeah, I caught it and I landed it. Took it out Wait. of the net, went to set my net down and dropped the fish on my knee and it bounced right back in the water. Oh wow. Probably 18, 19 inch large Ooh. mouth. Speaking of hurts, man, oh man, I do not know what's going on. I continue to losing big fish. Mechanics are off. I'm gonna blame myself. I can't say that I'm unlucky because things are just kind of goofy when I'm setting the hook. It still hurts, but I can't complain. It was fun, caught fish out there, Folsom, the bite was fun, catching them on a jig. So really, all in all, it was a good day. And uh, Aldi, you mentioned you caught a bunch. Caught a bunch, yeah. jerk bait. It was a blast out here. It's about 20 to 30 keepers. It was great. It's one little bad spell around here. Thunder. Did you, guys, uh, did you guys go to the bank and hide like me? No. It's just me. Alright, guys, fun tournament. Good times, good poker, and uh, good fishing. Any uh, final words? No, no? No. See you at the next one. Till next time. We'll see ya.